ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. Happy Sunday. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and spill some tea, honey. So if you guys do not know, Jess Hilarious, a.k.a. Jess with the damn mess on Instagram, she is trending all over social media today. When I tell you, she has been getting drug on Twitter all morning, okay? So I want to come on here and break it down. I want to kind of just fall back, see how it played out before I made a video. So what happened is that this morning... Um, she started trending her and Sheik's. Um, as we know, they're a group of people. People tend to mix them up with Muslims, but they're not. It's a whole community. A lot of the men, they wear turbans on their heads. So sometimes people confuse them for Islamic people, even though they're not. Um, so anyhow, the rumor was that basically Jess Hilarious got four Sheik men kicked off of an airplane. And many people were reporting this. Um, so people started dragging Jess Hilarious because what initially happened is that as the four men were being removed off the plane, she started filming and laughing and you know making a joke of the situation and also calling them Muslim when they're obviously not Muslim men so people started dragging her saying that she was Islamophobic she was racist you know you as a black woman you know how it feels to be mistreated and you know uh, treated like crap out here and then you're gonna do it to somebody else and then as we all know this past Thursday there was a whole shooting that happened in New Zealand I had covered that so right now emotions are really really high so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the initial video that she posted on social media I'm gonna show you guys people's responses to her on Twitter and on social media and then she comes back and responds again so y'all go ahead and check this out we're on our flight <gasps> where are you going where are you going Just hilarious. You a pussy ass bitch, just hilarious. Just don't fucking play with me. Look. Alright, I'm finna get disrespectful in this motherfucker. Look. Alright, I'm finna get disrespectful in this motherfucker. Look. Disgusting. This bitch disgusting. This bitch disgusting. Tell me if I'm scared, I'm scared. Fuck y'all. Fuck how y'all feel. Y'all mad at me because I don't side with every other black person. Because I don't side with every other race. Fuck y'all. I feel how I feel. I felt threatened. And that was it. Fuck y'all. And I'm not flying there. We were evacuated, bitch. Why? Why? With no reason explained at all. No technical difficulties or nothing. Y'all gonna listen to Jess with the Mess one day. Because <laughs> my news is real. So how ironic is it that we boarded the same plane and I don't see those people? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're fully boarded. Yeah, Eat my ass. I'm just a mess. 
and my news be real tune in all right so you guys just saw what she had to say um so then she was still getting drugged and so then she ended up going on to her Snapchat, and this is what she posted. She says, look, y'all, I'm not racist, and never have I ever been. We have Muslims in my family. However, I was totally unaware of the different types of Muslims. So, yes, I admit I'm ignorant to that fact, so teach me. Then she says, I got no one put off the fucking plane. I didn't even say shit to anyone else on the fucking plane about how I felt. Again, I'm sorry to all Muslims. Deeply sorry, but I am not racist, loves. Then she says, and for all you other clown bitches talking about, talking I'm canceled, you bitches say that shit every month. Imagine me canceled for being human. Hashtag bye. Then she goes on another rant. Check this out. Okay, so one thing first, niggas know I'm never fucking racist, but I spotted something. I pointed it out earlier, and we got evacuated from our plane. We we were on the plane, we were on the plane for like an hour, and um, did not get to pull off. Um, everybody was coming at me. Oh, you racist bitch! You fucked up! You bitch! You bitch! Because I pointed out four different people that I saw in the plane earlier so when we had to evacuate with no reason at all nobody said anything we just had to evacuate and i don't see the same four people that i've fucking seen before apologize bitch that's what y'all need to do stop being so fucking scared nigga because that's one thing i'm not i'm not scared of y'all i'm not scared of nobody and i got the do-rag on because my waves are spinning but don't all right so you guys just saw what jess hilarious had to say and what i definitely do find funny is that she felt uncomfortable about these chic men you know initially um i guess because of their turbans meanwhile she's wearing a damn do-rag that's similar to the same color turbans as some chic men wear so this entire situation is very interesting um you know, people know I definitely have Muslims in my family. My mother is Muslim. I do take offense when people get really Islamophobic um, because, again, my mother has been Muslim now for like 10 years, goes to the mosque, you know, all that stuff. But I didn't want to jump on the whole just hilarious uh, hate train. Um, she says she has Muslims in her family, but she doesn't know the difference between sheiks and Muslims, which, you know, I can't fault her for that because a lot of people don't know the difference. If they see anything on your head, they automatically assume that you're Muslim. So I can't falter for that because many people don't know the difference in this poor community of sheiks. Ever since 9-11 went down, that's when a lot of people in their community, I remember after 9-11, a lot of those people getting beat up. They're getting their um, turbans pulled off their heads and everything else. So that community definitely be going through it. Um, but let's keep it real. Outside of the shade room and black social media, just hilarious does not have the power to get anybody removed off of a plane. I hide, That's why I didn't really buy into the store. And they're like, oh, she got four chic men removed off of the plane. I'm like, just hilarious. Like, come on now. I'm not saying that she's not famous, but she's not famous enough to where they're going to take her complaining seriously enough to remove another passenger so let's not act like this is beyonce this is just hilarious so i didn't believe that rumor that she herself went to the pilot said she felt uncomfortable and the pilot was like oh my god just hilarious out of all these people on the plane you feel uncomfortable let me go ahead and oblige to your uncomfortness and remove these four innocent guys you know so i didn't believe that rumor so i'm glad that she did clear that up that she's not the one who got them removed off the plane now i've been trying to research i don't know why these four men were removed off the plane i don't know if other you know passengers were also so complaining or if these four men did something but I think you know with Jess she's a comedian so she'll take any situation and she'll try and put a comedic spin on it but unfortunately this was not the right time or place especially with you know emotions being so high right now and the fact that you know almost a hundred Muslims were slaughtered over there in New Zealand and there's been a lot of Islamophobia you know there's been a lot of you know just race baiting and race talk especially with the shooter so I don't think this was the right time and place for her to joke like that but at the end of the day I hope she learns from this and her writing in her um, post she has Muslims in her family to me almost sounds like when white people say oh I can't be racist I have a black friend named Dion you know what I'm saying or I can't be racist because after all you know 
my best friend is LaQuisha, you know, just little shit like that. And it's like, no, you can still hold some, you know, racial, you know, beliefs and stuff like that, regardless of who you break bread with. So, you know, I just hope she learns from this. You know, people are upset. People are dragging her. But people also need to understand that Muslim is not a race. Okay, it's a religion. I know white Muslims. I know Asian Muslims, Indians, Africans. It's a religion, you guys. It's not a race. So people need to also understand that as well. And we also need to be careful with profiling people. You know, get to know them first. Don't just see a turban on their head and assume that they're Muslims. You know what I'm saying? Speak to them. You know, what's your ethnicity? What's your culture? You know, I think that would have been a perfect situation for her to have dialogue. Having dialogue with people, you know, is always a good thing to break the ice, to find out more about them and stuff like that, as opposed to just profiling them. Because, again, it came out that they're not even Muslim people. So this entire situation is definitely interesting. A lot of folks are saying she's ignorant, she's not funny, they're canceling her. And you have the right to do what you want to do. But at the end of the day, I hope that, you know, Jess Hilarious takes this as a learning lesson and realize that sometimes you just don't have to post everything on social media. Let the real world play out how it needs to play out. You don't have to give commentary to it. Stick to the celebrity mess and leave the real world politics alone. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Jess Hilarious basically getting drug all morning for allegedly getting four chic men kicked off of a plane, which I never believed that she did that. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know how you guys feel about this entire situation. All right. Deuces.